excitement of new activities is lacking. The number of players is lacking. A glimmer of hope upon a new horizon is fading away. Whether you've played New Horizons for one year or for the whole four years since the game's been out, there's an 89.7% chance that you got bored. After catching one too many sea bass, bought five too many fake paintings, learned a million too many duplicate recipes, and then threw away your island for a period of time only to return with a new hairstyle and cockroaches ruling over your house. But you're left still craving that New Horizons feeling that you once held right in the palm of your hands. If you came back to the game, maybe you played for a few more weeks, redecorated your house, got a little bit closer to completing some goals, flattened your island, like I am, and then reset and started all over again. Or even got a whole new switch to start all over again, and then still got bored after that. Well, I've had it up to here. I think it's about time that Nintendo paid attention to the Animal Crossing community after spending all of our hard-earned, real-life bells and pokey on this game. The least they can do is acknowledge us, right? And so I've been wondering, does anyone actually know how Nintendo finds our feedback? Like, does their team scour the internet for our complaints, or do we just write a letter or an email or something? Because, I don't know, that seems kind of old-fashioned. Or do they just rely on the people that are commenting directly on their Nintendo social platforms? If I was to write a letter to Nintendo, I think it would go a little something like this. Dear Nintendo, Firstly, I'd like to thank you from the bottom of my childhood heart for creating the Animal Crossing series in the first place. Wild World had 8 year old me in a tight grip, and I think that after New Horizons, I can forgive you for city folk. However, speaking of New Horizons, on behalf of the Animal Crossing community, it's important for you to know that we feel a multitude of things about receiving no updates and no new game announcements for the last two years, including abandoned, betrayed, and defeated. Please, give us a new update or game, or even a spin-off. Preferably with more multiplayer activities, more fruit, more furniture, more customization options. Oh, and please bring back some NPCs and villagers too. Thank you. Sincerely, Rosie. That's not too much to ask for, right? <laughs> Even if I did send a letter to Nintendo, I don't know how effective it would really be. So, I say we show up at the doorstep and revolt. You know, the real old-fashioned way. Bring your pitchforks, bring your flimsy axes. Just kidding, I think that's only a good idea in theory. But as we wait for even a crumb of news about a new Animal Crossing game, I'm curious as to whether a new game will really ever live up to the hype that New Horizons had. When it came out, it was a whole new aesthetically pleasing HD model of the game with new elements and new mechanics mixed with a few unique external factors that also contributed to the game's commercial success. Like the whole structure of today's chronically online society and the big scary global panini. I feel like these factors really enabled the excitement of the game to be emphasized even more. And I feel like maybe we'll never have that same hype again. But at the same time, I also hope the world is never actually severely unemployed and shut inside again with nothing to do. But I think you get what I'm trying to say overall. The adorable new villagers also caused a whole uproar in the community. And even though there were some cuties in the 2.0 update, I'm not going to lie, I was still kind of disappointed. But maybe I'm just biased, since in my opinion, no one will ever come above Melba. Part of me would also like to point out that it's not just the newness and the updates that make this game fun. As we all know, Animal Crossing has always been a game where after the first initial few weeks or months of playing, it does get kind of boring and you do have to make your own fun. But that's the thing I love about this community is that there have been challenges and ways that people find their own fun, but it never really lasts that long. Because a challenge also seems to only be fun for the first few weeks and then that fizzles out too, and the game is back to feeling, well, lonely. And I think that's one of the things that I love and miss the most about the game when I go for a few months without playing it, is the community itself and having other people to play along with. But I'm curious to know how you'll be spending the time waiting on a new game. Did you stop playing New Horizons a while ago? Are you playing other games? Have you started playing Animal Crossing again recently? Are you scouring YouTube for new Animal Crossing content? Because in that case, remember to like and subscribe to this one. I think she's pretty cool if I do say so myself. As for me, I'll be here, still completing all the Nook Magos and trying to finish a single darn island. I'll keep you updated on how it goes. Bye!